A group of young musicians in Easter House were given the chance to show off their talent to a very special guest today. Texas lead singer Charlene Spateri paid a visit to Glasgow's Urban Collective, a youth project which aims to nurture new talent and provide a breakthrough into the music industry. Laura Miller reports. The pressure was definitely on for these young musicians today. You don't get to perform live in front of Charlene Spateri every day. I think it's just good to know that other people can make it. It gives you more determination to actually try, because you know, like people can make it through the area that we live in. It's good to know that. To have somebody who has got the experience and, and has been successful in the creative industries, you know, regardless what kind of music they do or, or what kind of art they express, then you, you know, it's a, it's a privilege. It's good to perform in front of other creative people. These rising stars are part of the Glasgow Urban Collective based in Easter House, which gives new talent the chance to write, record and perform their own music. And the verdict on today's performances? I thought it was absolutely amazing. You know, it's, it's very clear that everybody here knows how to write a song and um, I think that's a really, really important factor of what they do and they're all really good musicians and they can definitely sing as well. So, yeah, I was unbelievably impressed by it and I know how hard it is to get up with someone sitting right in front of you. The project runs in four other cities across the UK and organisers say it's important current artists inspire future talent. I think it's everything because it just provides a real tangibility, it's something you can actually see, feel and sort of say hello to and shake the hand and, and, it, and it's real. I mean, uh, I think she's a phenomenal talent and, um, and a real inspiration to a lot of people. And perhaps Charlene will be seeing some of these faces alongside her on the music circuit before too long. Laura Miller, STV News.